Hi there, Aries, and welcome back to Star Lordis Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of May the 24th through to the 31st. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Aries. First up, we have Major Arcana, the Hierophant in the upright, followed then by the Queen of Cups upright, and next we have Major Arcana, Death card in the upright, followed then by the Seven of Pentacles reversed, and lastly we have the Nine of wands in the reverse so for your overall energy aries you have that of the, <coughs> the taurus energy hierophant in the upright position the hierophant mainly points to making commitments signing contracts that can govern contracts and things like that so it could be this week maybe you are making a commitment to a love interest it could be for some of you and for others of you this could be signing a contract for just about anything you have to sign contracts these days um you know, to lease a, an apartment, to um, lease or purchase a home or a car or something like that. So it could be for some of you, that's what's going on. For others of you, this could be about signing on the dotted line for a term position, especially when it's involving anything with the government or uh, school or something like that, something official. Others of you could be joining some type of, of new uh, religious uh, group or spiritual group or something like that but you're making a commitment this week to something um, Aries the beginning of the week we have the Queen of Cups here in the upright position well the Queen of Cups is a court card could be representing a person if it's representing a person this is water energy that of Cancer Scorpio Pisces Sun Moon arising male or female now it could be for some of you perhaps you're <coughs> Uh, this is a person external to you. It could be your love interest. It could be uh, a friend, a family member. Uh, this could also be maybe a counselor, somebody you're talking to. Um, you know, this person exhibits a lot of emotional maturity as well as um, compassion, caring, understanding. These are the qualities associated with the Queen of Cups. Now, if this isn't somebody external to you, this could be actually you embodying the energies of the Queen of Cups, and maybe you're being in this manner towards someone else in your life. This could be your, you know, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend. This could be a family member, a friend, or anybody that you're just kind of counseling, showing them a lot of you know, nurturing and so forth. Moving on, we have Major Arcana, the death card in the upright position. Death card associated with the sign of Scorpio because this is about the phoenix rising from the ashes of the old foundation that crumbled that wasn't um, sitting on very, you know, solid. It wasn't a solid foundation. That's why it crumbled. So that's what it is with the death card. A lot of times it doesn't mean it's the end, although it can mean it is the end of something. Um, this is a situation where something needs to transform, change, or come to its complete natural end. So this could be uh, your job situation. This could be a relationship. It depends. This is just a general read, so it's going to be different for all of you. But it could be that you're looking at a, transform a transformation of a relationship, a transformation of of um you know your work situation it could even be like from going from working full-time down to part-time or going from part-time to full-time because you need more money whatever your situation is right you're transforming you're changing something otherwise you might need to just you know walk away completely and start from scratch somewhere else now the next card you have going towards the weekend is the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse position. See, this makes sense with the death card preceding it because this is about no longer reevaluating something. It seems like, Aries, you have been in a state of perhaps reevaluating something, something that was long standing, could have been something in your life that was, you know, had been going on for seven months, seven years. Um, seven decades <laughs> whatever the situation is it's something that's been going on a long time and you perhaps were really really you know checking it out looking to see if it's still making sense because just because something once worked it doesn't mean it's going going to continue to work this is the reason for reevaluation. When the card is reversed, this is where we're no longer reevaluating something because you've already realized, realized that something needs to change, transform, or come to its end. So now you're coming out of the reevaluating phase as well. 
And the last card you have is the Nine of Wands in the reverse position. This is about peacetime. This is letting down the guard. When the Nine of Wands is in the upright position, this is uh, what they call the Wounded Warrior. This is where someone has fought a lot of challenges on one particular subject. It could be that you're always fighting with your spouse about the same thing over and over again. It could be you're always clashing with people at work over the same scenario. It could be that you're always dealing with a, you know, a scenario in your life that involves either your finances, your health or something like that. And it always ends up there. Well, when the card is in the reverse position, this is where we're no longer feeling like we have to stand on guard. It's probably because you've released something. You've definitely let go of something here and you've committed and decided to move on to something else. It's definitely the way it looks for this week for you, Aries. I really hope this reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.